What's going on everybody? Welcome to Blind Power. And today I want to give you some uh, ideas of things that I want to see in the future for Braille. Some future Braille devices that I really really want to see come out. So, okay, my, my first one that I'm like needs to come out is a tactile television. So essentially everything live so you can feel the people's faces, you can feel the cars moving, you can feel everything live as it's happening on TV, you can feel it. Now to do this, you have to have a very powerful computer and very powerful graphics card because the Braille display has to be going like this, 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 this. so you need a lot of like RAM and high CPU so you can process all that data quick, 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 quick. You know, you need that, you need that quickness and sharpness. So that's, so that can happen, you know. It'd probably be possible with a tactile Braille display, but it would, it, but it would, it would buffer a lot and it, it just wouldn't render correctly. So there'd have to be some extra technology in there for that to happen. And honestly, I think that would be a plus if we can get live TV and a tactile display. That's one of the things I would love to see in 2018. The second thing I would like to see is a full tactile Braille touchscreen. So essentially, the buttons and the text, everything is, of course, the text would be in Braille, but then like the buttons, would you could feel the buttons, and on top of the buttons, you can feel the text. So that if you find what you like, you essentially just press the text down. So you like push in the, the, the dots, the braille dots, and then it would be like, oh, okay, I would like to then I, I open this and it would open it for you, you know? And it would be like a version of a tactile braille touchscreen, but using your finger pressure that you want to open that. And that way you can determine when you're feeling the Braille, then when you're pressing it, so it wouldn't be as sensitive, but it knows when you're pressing on it, then, hey, this is, this means I need to open this button. The third thing I want to see in 2018 is, I want to see, believe it or not, this one is kind of cool, because I've been like, I want to see this for so many years, I've been, I've been thinking about it for so long. I want to see a updated Brailler, a brailler that essentially, if you're, if you're, for example, um, near an embosser, once you're done brailing everything, it just prints live into the embosser. So like a wireless solution for brailing. So while you're doing braille, instead of having the paper come out of the thing and having to switch papers, you just start brailing, and then it wirelessly sends it over to the embosser, and then the embosser prints it out for you. I know there's some methods of that right now. But they're not as good as we can get them to be. We can get them using Wi-Fi, you know, Wi-Fi embossing would be a thing. And that's to the next thing I want to see. And number four, I want to see Wi-Fi embossing. So using your phone and your Braille display on your, connected to your phone, you can essentially emboss a document on your that's on your phone, send it to the embosser, and get it printed in Braille. No matter what you read on your phone, you can get it printed in Braille. And like right there from your comfort of your home or your office, you can be like, okay, I want to print this right now. And you just send it over, emboss it, and boom, you have a Braille copy. That's what I want to see. Um, I want to see some solution to that this year. I really, really hope it comes because, I mean, it's about time when 2018 decided to get these nice solutions. Why can't Braille users, you know? We need that. It'd be, it'd be cool. We need, we need to have the enthusiast level stuff too. And number five, what I would like to see would be some sort of a device where you can play like tactile games. So it'd be like a board or something and you can play multiple types of games using dice. So if you roll the dice, you know, so you can play chess, you can play, not chess, like you can play uh, any board game you want, essentially like a universal board game that would be working in Braille so that there'd be bro games with dice and it would know at what points your dice is landed on and it would say okay you landed here then you go here and it would be a way of playing a game in braille but it would be a lot smarter technology because it would know when the dice is land and then it would know hey you need to go here so it would have to have braille and speech it'd be like your dice landed at four and two and then you start feeling it and you realize oh, okay then uh, you landed in four and two and boom, you know, that's, that, that's, that's where you landed. So, you know, some basic board game functionality with Braille that you can play most board games on this, in, in this uh, universal Braille board. The point of this would be that you don't have to have multiple Braille board games and all this old-fashioned stuff. I mean, 2018, man. 
we need to get rid of those old-fashioned board games, make an electronic one. That'd be pretty cool. Anyways, those are five little ideas I want to see this year with Braille. Or some of them, I know some of those are like a far, further stretch, but at the conference, I want to see something new and innovative. We need it. We need enthusiast level um, assistive technology this year at the conference. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just as I enjoyed making it, comment, rate, subscribe. You know what to do. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.